Palesburg, hanging on back with another review. Oh man. Now before you get started, I gotta ask a favor. And I don't ask favors very often, guys. So, so please, please, I'm asking you. Um, right up above my head, I'm gonna put a link right there. Maybe you can see it. I, I can't see it, but, but yeah, when the video goes up, you'll be able to see it. And it's for Foo Reviews, The Legend of Foo. Please click on it and watch that video. And then, you know, if you can, leave a nice little happy birthday message for Foo. Because he could use some birthday love. So uh, please give him some uh, care. And just say hi, Foo. And happy birthday, Foo. Yeah, if you could do that, I'd much appreciate it. So thank you very much in advance. And what we have here is Generations Crosscut. Now this is a, well, new head sculpt on um, Skid's body. I don't think they re-sculpted any of the body part. It looks the same to me when I compared the two. But uh, yeah, and I really like this new look. Plus, Hasbro did something awesome. They added metallic paint. Yep, nice red metallic paint, and it's on the head, it's on the shoulders, it's on the hands, um, it's on the feet, and maybe somewhere else. We'll see when we get the toy, but man, great job, Hasbro. I done loves me some metallic paint. And right there's a nice picture IDW. It comes with the comic book, which I love because it's real hard to get comic books here in Taiwan. So uh, let's go and turn that hand hands. And we have the side. And it just says, uh, let's see, uh, O2 series. Yep, right there. Number 16. Okay. And the back. And right there on the back. And we have Crosscut. Crosscut isn't known for his accomplishments in battle. But his role is no less valuable to the Autobot cause. I don't get it. The Ambassador's vast knowledge of languages and civilizations enables him to 4G alliances across the universe. The Autobots can establish footholds on other worlds without firing a shot. Now, now I gotta say one thing. Just hearing the word ambassador terrifies me. And I'll tell you why. Because of Buck Rogers. If anybody ever seen the old Buck Rogers TV show, they had one episode where like Spock's dad was in it and he was an ambassador in it. Yeah. And he showed up and he took off his head and man, that just done terrified me. I, I, I was so scared. Yeah. And that's a true story, too. So so just here an Ambassador, it don't make me nervous. So I hope his head don't come off, because that would just terrify me. So uh, let's go back to the front. Oh, wait. No, we got to do the Tech Speckies. Woohoo! Oh, man, I missed you, Tech Speckies. So he got the strength of a 6, the intelligence of a 10. So he's super smart. The speed of a 7, the endurance of a 6, the rank of a 7, Courage of an 8, Fire Blast of a 6, and the skill of a 9. Man, I always like when they got a skill of a 9 or a 10, because that really shows they've done work hard and they're good at what to do. Alright, let's go to the front. And there we have the front. So, uh, yeah, we'll just open them up and we'll compare them with skids, and I'll let you know what I think. Alright, and uh, please check out Pooh's video. There it is. Up there again. Please check it out. Let's go. Woohoo! Alright. And here we have Crosscut with his buddy Skids over here. Because it's just a repaint of Skids. And so, you know, same type of car. You know, you can see the different paint apps on it. Um, I think Skids has a better front grille. Because it's got that little red, yellow silver whereas this is just the headlights are painted but nothing else and then right here is that uh, metallic red paint and here is just black in here so that part I, I give the edge to um, 
skids but one thing I will say real nice is right here it's not white they actually painted that nice and silver whereas you know skids is just a flat blue paint so I think that's real nice and they also carried it over when we get to the sides you know we have you know black here but here is the red and white but they also carried that silver all around the window and even up top here and it really does look good and I think it's fantastic that they did it they painted the wheel the hubcap silver you know and for the back whereas skids is just red two red parts here they have yellow red and then somebody painted outside the lines it looks like for the back here but they did try so I'll give them that but yep and on mine there's a little bleed through on the red right here whereas here is fine so there you go the car mode for them so let's get to the transformation alright let's get to the transformation now it's a pretty simple transformation for uh, for crosscut and it is exactly like skids so if you have skids see those guns always jump up as soon as they get a chance All right. if you have skids you probably know how to transform them but side flip out the feet and then we're just going to go back here to the back open it up and we're going to flip down the legs and flip down the legs like this and then of course we're going to rotate these around rotate like this All right, once we do that we're going to take the arms and we're going to move them out because they lock in right here on the uh, hips and they're going to rotate his waist around right here once we do that we're going to pull pull out and make sure you pull it out all the way sometimes it can get stuck so pull that out all the way right there and we're going to roll down the tires so just roll down the tires here and here once we do that we're going to flip down or come up here right to there we're going to move this down okay and move that there now right here is when you decide okay do you want do you want the guns up or not if you want them up yeah you just go and let them flip up. Actually, this mine isn't that strong. All right, right there. Once that's done, now you're gonna take this back back piece here that you have here, and it just goes and pushes you know, pushes back here and locks in there. And there you have crosscut transformed. The only thing, make sure his legs are all right and in the chicken leg formation. And there you have. Them. So let's get to the detail. All right, and here is Crosscut in his robot mode, and I love the new head sculpt. I really do like this. I also love that nice big Autobot symbol they put on there. Um, I wish they had left the eyes because he does have light piping, but they painted the eyes yellow, so you doesn't work. Um, they're using metallic paint on the head, on the shoulders. Let's move back a little bit. You've got it on the uh, this part right here, on the vent, on his uh, waist. Both his hands are painted red. And for his feet. So they got a lot of metallic paint on it. And I approve Hasbro. Keep doing it. Oh, also on his little tail leg. And uh, let me just go and quickly bring in his friend who fell over skids because they are exactly the same mold it's just a new head all it is it's a new head for skids and it does make him look like his own separate character you know and there's a lot of good things about the skids figure and bad so uh, let me just quickly go over those things now one thing I really like is his gun which he has a nice little Tommy gun over here and you can go and take this rifle take his rifle and just like skids you add it on and you've got a big rifle other thing is on his arm you've got the guns that flip out and of course you've got you know these guns that you can put back 
which part of the transformation you saw it, which is good. What's not good is his articulation. Standing on the shelf, he looks great. But when you get to the articulation, this is where the figure fails. Shoulder, because of the shoulder, it gets caught on this part, and so it limits the shoulder. He doesn't have any um, spin on his, uh, on his, under the shoulder. There's no spin there. You can move a little bit inward, outward, but you're not going to get 360 there. On the elbow is a ball joint. You get your 360 there. He has a waist. The waist will go around, and he has the knee. The knee will bend 90 degrees. His hips are terrible because if you want to go back, you can go back that far. Just that little bit. Forward is okay. Forward you can go, you know, almost 90 degrees. That's fine. And, of course, he does have a swivel there. And his ankle is a swivel. And let me show you here on mine. This foot is painted perfectly. This one, yeah, it's missing. Somebody missed a lot of spots. So here you can see even to the bottom, it's nice, smooth. This one, it missed a lot. And over here too on this side. So I guess the paint jobs are going to vary. I like the look of this guy. There's things to really like about him. But there's other things that I don't really like. So uh, yeah, let me think about it and let's get to the summation. Alright. Alright, time for the summation. So we have Crosscut, Generations Crosscut, and uh, yeah, he's not bad in any way, shape, or form. He's a nice figure, and I think he looks really good on the shelf. Articulation-wise, he got some problems, but he didn't have the same problems as Skids. When I got Skids, I done had to fix them, and uh, yeah, I had to swap out his... Uh, hips so that's fine on him he doesn't have that problem but you know he ain't perfect that's for sure but the question is fails bug is he nice well yes he is nice is he shiny and by i mean shiny i mean like is it something you really really want and for him i gotta say no he's not that shiny is he good yeah he's good so it's kind of like he hits two of the things i like but not the third so I can't say, oh, go out and buy him, he's fantastic. No, he's all right. He's a nice figure. If you want the comic, I thought the comic was great. I really enjoyed the comic book. And it got nice little pictures in it, and I didn't even really have to read too much, even though there was a lot of words. But, uh, yeah. So, I would say, if you like what you see, you're going to like the figure. And if you like Skids, well, you'll like this guy, too. And, but if you didn't like skids, this guy didn't change anything. Or enough that it'll be different. So, uh, yeah, I'd say he's okay. Yeah. Now, now before I go and uh, eat him, because he's good enough to eat, but I just want to say uh, hi to uh, Benjamin Rodriguez. Because he likes to watch my videos. And then also uh, Carlos Ruperto. Because he done drew a picture of me and done sent it to me. And I really appreciate it, Carlos. Thank you very much. So, uh, yeah. So, nice. Yep. Shiny. Not so much. Good. Yep. Good enough to eat. <coughs> oh, no. They're pretty good. Mm. Mm. Not bad. Not bad. It's a pretty tasty snack. But it's not too satisfying. So, uh. Yeah, it's a good toy. Good toy. Um, oh, watch, watch Foo's review of my video. Yeah, it's real good. Uh, and the link is right over there, right on top of uh, Skids over there. So, uh, thanks a lot, guys, and uh, bye!